Good morning students. In the last class I taught you about the one of the most important problem in the cone plate, right? In this class I am going to teach you about the one of the most important problem in the multi disc clutch. Read the problem. A multi disc clutch has five plates having four pairs of active friction surfaces. If the intensity of pressure is not to exceed 0.127 Newton per mm square and the power transmitter at 500 rpm, the outer and inner radius of friction surfaces are 125 mm and 75 mm respectively. Assume uniform wear and take coefficient of friction 0.3. Right? First, we need to understand the problem and write the given data. Right? What are the data is given? The problem itself they mentioned this is a multi disc clutch. So, this is a multi plate clutch problem. And also the number of plates they given, the, the total number of plates, right? That is n1 plus n2 equal to 5, 5 plates, right? Then having 4 pairs of active surface friction surfaces. So, number of pairs, 4. And they given the intensity of pressure. Intensity of pressure is not to exceed 0.127, 0 0.127, Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. Right? Then they ask to find the value of power transmitter. They ask to find the value of power transmitter at 500 rpm speed. Right? And they given the value of outer and inner radius. Outer and inner radius. Outer radius is R1, inner radius R2. Right? They given those values. 125 mm and 75 mm. And they ask to consider it's a uniform wear theory, uniform wear theory condition, right? So we need to solve this problem based on the uniform wear theory, right? For that, they give us the value of coefficient of friction 0.3, that is mu. Okay, we wrote the given data. Then, how we can solve this problem? First, we need to know the formula for this findings. What we need to find? Power transmitter. What we need to find? Power transmitter, right? So, we need to find the value of power transmitter with the help of this formula. Power equal to T into omega. Here, we didn't know the value of T, top. Omega, that is the angular velocity that we can find directly with the help of speed. How means 2 pi n divided by 60. With the help of that formula, we can able to find the value of omega. But we, we don't know the value of top. That we need to find. That we need to find, right? That have some formula. The formula is n into mu w r. N is the a number of packs. Mu is the position of friction. W is the axial load. Axial load. R is the mean radius, right? Here we know the value of number of pairs, coefficient of friction. Remaining two values are unknown. Remaining two values are unknown. Axial load and mean radius. Mean radius we can find. R1 plus R2 divided by 2. But we need to find the value of axial load, right? That we can. That we need to use some other formula for finding the axial force. That is axial load. 2 pi c into r1 minus r2. Here, c is the unknown value. c is the unknown value. First, we need to find the value of c. First, we need to find the value of c. Then only, we can able to find the value of axial force. Right? So, for that, we, are, we need to use this relation to find the value of the constant value c. How we can select and how we can find the value of c? That is the constant value, right? Where is the maximum intensity of pressure takes place? Where is the maximum intensity of pressure takes place? For that, only we need to equate this condition. Equate this condition. Then only we can be able to find the value of that constant. That is P into R2 equal to constant. Already we know the value of pressure and inner radius, right? At the inner condition only, we have the maximum intensity of pressure. 
So we can substitute both the value here and find the value of that constant. The value will be 9.525 Newton per mm. 9.525 Newton per mm. After this, we need to substitute this value in the axial force required equation and find the value of axial force required. The axial force required value will be 2990 Newton. Right? After finding the value of axial force required, we need to substitute this value in the torque equation and also for this we need to find the value of mean radius. How you can find R equal to R1 plus R2 divided by 2. Here we know R1 and R2 values. So we can substitute those values here and find the value of R, capital R, that is mean radius. Right? After finding the value of mean radius of the friction surfaces and the axial force required, we can substitute those values in the torque equation. What is the torque equation? Generated mu into W into R. Here we know all the values now. So we can substitute all the values here and find the value of torque. Right? Here we need to substitute the value of mean radius at meter. Then only we can able to get the torque value in the Newton meter. Right? So we need to convert the mean radius into meter. After that we need to substitute those values here and find the value of torque. That value will be 358.8 Newton meter. Right? After finding the value of torque, we need to substitute torque value and the angular velocity value here in the power transmitter equation and find the value of power transmitter. The value of power transmitter will be 18.8 kilowatt. Right? This class, I taught you about the one of the most important multi-disc clutch problem. Right? In the next class, I will teach you about the one of the most important centrifugal clutch problem. Thank you.